I'm using a mesh style dome cap to make my wig. I'm going to be using about three and a half bundles and I'm using a closure. As you can see, this hair is 613 in a loose wave. So while I'm sewing down this closure, I'm just pulling it so it can be as flat as possible because if you have any humps in it, it's just going to look bulky and it's going to look not natural at all. So as you're doing it, just pull and make sure you're making it as flat as possible. I'm just showing y'all how I unravel my bundles, which I just roll and put my fingers through it all the way until the end and everything's unraveled. And I just feel like this is the best way so you don't get any knots or tangles or anything and you don't lose any hair. So now I'm going to pin this and I kind of pin the bundles all like, like all the time. <laughs> When I start off the bundles, I'll go through the wefts. I think two times is a good amount. Sometimes I'll go once, but that just means you're gonna have to go back and tighten up your bundles. I feel like consistency is key with making a wig because it's just how you lay it so just get in the pattern how you do your wigs especially if you're sewing if you want to sew up on the whole thread just do that and i was just say try both ways it's different for everybody sometimes i'll sew up and that's more comfortable and i can go faster or sometimes down it's just better and the spacing of your thread make sure it's just consistent find out what works for you so when you end your bundle or if I'm doing the fold over method so if you're going to cut it just make sure you cut and you double knot and you cut your string and then you tie it in a knot it's kind of simple, but practice is key, honestly.
So you don't see that black anymore, just cut the little U shape. This is the Gotta Be Free Spray, and I did three layers of it. And I'm just doing the Pulp Riot Toning Shampoo because I don't want my wig turning green. And at first it was very yellow, and with this Adore color, it has a little blue in it, so it could have turned green, which... After I wore it a few times and I kept putting heat to it, it did on the ends turn green and I just redid it. So maybe next time I'll do it a different way to see if it doesn't turn green. So this is boiling water and I use titanium on the whole wig and I feel like you need two bottles but I didn't have two bottles of titanium. I had a titanium and one platinum. So what I did for this video is just because the inside of the wig didn't get much titanium on it like it was still blonde pieces so I just picked those blonde pieces out and I put a little titanium on them and still it wasn't that good so I used platinum and platinum is a deeper color I just used that on the roots so I just put a little bit of conditioner in it and I filled it all the way up with water like I only used maybe a drop of platinum just because it was like a more rich color So this is the platinum in a door. I'm using boiling water, of course. And I just did this on the roots because this is a darker gray. And this is where I had to pick out certain pieces and filled up this tub with um, water and a little bit of a door with some conditioner just to make it all the same color so yeah this is how i achieved it
Okay, so I really do love this wig. Like, it's really full. I end up using, like, four bundles. Or it was, like, three and a half with a closure. As y'all probably saw, but I know I put three bundles up first. But anyway, I love, love, love this color. But I hate, like, I really don't like short hair on me unless it's, like, right here. So I'm probably going to curl this wig. So if you want to see it, give me a thumbs up or a comment. And you can always just like follow me on my IG, which is Astro's Gems. So you can just see stuff before YouTube sees stuff because I'm always, 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 always on IG. But thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful week.